Welcome. This is um, the Genesin. The <laughs> this is the Elin reading for O two O two, um, O two O two twenty twenty, um, and it is for the Librans. Okay, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I have to wear my glasses. All right, so let's see what is happening and what is transpiring for Libran Sun Moon and Rising sign for this Elin energy. Um that is coming up what is coming out the new portal that is opening up what is coming out for um the Librans. what is coming up for you oh Librans. so what is coming out for you Librans? all right so what is affecting the Librans? sister wood of the rose beauty and devotion um the priestess misty and teacher so this is beautiful, Librans. This is one, this is really beautiful because it's all about sisterhood of the rosary. Okay, so if you guys know about the Holy Rosary, if you went to Catholic schools, you would have known about the Holy Rosary. So, um, um, and the sister of the rosary was a, um, a group where you can connect with, okay, the sister of the Holy Rosary. And it's all about beauty and devotion, the princesses, the magicians, the teachers, okay? So, um, this is wonderful. Um, I love this for you, Librans. And this is coming up in a very positive because this is your energy for this year. It's a really positive energy because it's all about the feminine energy. And it's all about the sisterhood of the rosary. And these are... Um, beautiful devoted goddess and goddesses okay priestess and priestesses um but it's mystical okay it's about the teaching of uh, doing what it is to manifest in your life okay so that is wonderful and powerful okay um so what is blocking you what is blocking you trust the nudge okay whatever is blocking you you need to trust the nudge what is the nudging feeling that trying to tell you? What is this nudging feeling trying to tell you? There's a nudging feeling that some of you are having, and it's going to be coming up in the month of uh, um, April, May, and June. A nudging feeling is coming up in April, May, and June because that is what is crossing you. So we're going to be seeing what is this nudging feeling that is uh, affecting you guys as we move forward. Inner Temple is here so um devotion tune in to the portals in the temple so a lot of you need to tune into the inner portals the inner temple to connect okay and this is what you need to learn you need to tune in in your own inner um um consciousness in order to learn and this is very very good this is very good this is very positive because as you um um as you uh, go within this is where you're going to be finding that out so 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 this is beautiful what you um who is going to be helping you your soul family call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone so call in your tribe call in your soul family each and every one of us is bounded to a soul family call in your tribe and your soul family okay so some of you could be the the the, the sister wood of the rose so you're going to be calling in the sister wood of the rose and calling in your soul family in order to align you with the right energies what it is that you need to let go um what it is that you need to let go you need to let go what it is that you need to let go um you need to let go the deceptiveness okay intuition um roots and ritual crossing the threshold okay so some of you need to cross that threshold and learn rituals okay and it's all about being in a sisterhood group of the rose so for whoever um you are go and look up the air uh, the connection for being in the sisterhood of the rose because that is where you're going to be breaking the stretch all okay that is where you're going to be connecting with your own soul groups okay the rich the writ the writ the of the passage the 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 passage crossing the stretch all so i think some of you may not um aware that you're connected to the sister of the rosary okay and uh, um 
this message is basically telling you that you are connected with the sister of the rosary and they are your soul's group so you must you have to call upon them so um let's call up on the sisters of the rosary to come in and to help us to move forward on that place on that journey on what it is that we need to do and how we are going to be accomplishing that and you know when you go to the month of april may um they're going to be opening up doors of opportunities for you yes yes they're going to be opening up doors of opportunities and they want you to trust the nudge okay trust the nudge and the nudge is when you have an inner threat on to connect or to find out something about a group um, um a group or a, that sort of a thing and they're saying yes just say yes okay so trust the intuition and the nudge just say yes okay break the chains whatever is, is holding you guys back break the change okay you gotta break the chain because they're showing this up an awakening nest is going to be coming up for you guys guys whatever is to inspire an awakening nest is going to be coming up for you guys a rebirth is going to be coming up for you guys okay some of you need to find out about the akashic records that is going to be important answer the call what is your soul calling you to do and this is going to be coming up in october november and december answer the call what is your soul calling uh, calling you up on to do answer the call okay so the message for you guys is that trust in the nudge it's a yes whatever your question is or was the answer answer the call what is your soul pushing you to do okay so wow you guys are really having this um powerful powerful reading because it's all about you connecting to your soul family okay the sister wood of the roses so um we're calling up on the sister wood of the roses for the people who are connected to this um group um this soul family to come in and to help us in this year so call upon um the sister wood of the rose um to connect with them they are your soul family and they're going to be coming up uh, to help you guys so, so let's see what is going to be coming in in the month for the liberans uh, this healing reading for the liberans the month of uh, april going back uh, april going in uh, to me what is going to be happening um so we have the star okay trust in the nudge what is the nudge feeling trying to tell you healing is coming in yes there is a new start that is going to be coming in for you liberals and i see answer the call so answer the call the world into a situation answer the call so some of you if you're dealing with a taurus virgo or a capricorn um we're going to be going to that okay let's look at this um trust the nudge trust the nudge is that trust your intuition there's a healing that is going to be coming in trust your intuition some of you are being nudged to do something trust it and go do it because it's going to bring in a healing this is going to be coming up in the month of october november and december because this is the healing reading october november and december this is going to be coming up where there's going to be a healing if you trust the nudge to do something that is positive um whatever that is it's going to be happening it's going to be coming up in april may and june july august and september is a yes these three months are yes okay just say yes say yes because there is a new start that is coming out so whatever is happening in the month of uh, july august and september say yes because there is a new start that is going to be coming out as we look at october november and december answer the call some of you are going to be dealing with a businessman okay or a taurus virgo or a capricorn or it has to do with your financial stability 
Now, whatever is transpiring here, it's all about your financial stability. And if you answer the call, the nudge that is pushing you to something different, a different career, a different opportunity, you're going to be financial stable. Okay. If you notice this energy is in the reverse, that means you are going to be financial stability by you listening to the call and listening and connecting to uh, the sisterhood and your soul family by listening to the call that is going to be creating a lot of financial abundance in your world. So this is really, really beautiful. Let's move on and see what is transpiring for your sign, you Librans. I see that what is transpiring in your world, it's going to be a cooperation, okay? To cooperate with others, to perfect something in your life, okay? You're going to be having discussions, okay? Resulting from the fairness shown by others, okay? You're working with the ninth house. The ninth house is about spiritual value. It's about long-range thinking or traveling, and it's all about what it is to be uh, shared, okay? So you Librans, this is the ninth house. You Librans are going to be working on the ninth house, whatever it has to do with travel and that sort of a thing, and it has to do with communication. So Librans, let's go down and see what is happening. The ninth house is all about... The ninth house, it's, it's, it's all about... Um, traveling it's all about spirituality it's all about getting out now i see cooperation um you have to cooperate with others okay and have spiritual values and the awareness will happen because it's all about mercury so it's all about the thoughts um communication and the thoughts okay some of you have to make some decision about long range thinking about traveling okay Many thoughts about uh, um, above and beyond is going to be coming up because it's about nine thousand. So you want to balance spirituality and a materialistic world, resulting from fairness shown by others. What it is to be um, share, okay? Many words is going to be coming up. So, however, this is coming up for you guys. This um, healing session um, where you're dealing with the ninth house in this. And this um at this time span when I'm doing this reading, whenever you pick up the reading, it's the time that you should have had it. I am seeing um that relationships are going to be affected, the ninth house relationships. So um as if it or they came from God, okay. So whatever is transpiring is that relationships are going to be coming in your life and as if these relationship was sent to you from the source okay so a lot of communication because it's mercury a lot of communication in relationship is going to be happening i see the beauty of some of you the philosophy and the laws involved analyzing so a lot of you liberals are very analytic so i see you're going to be analyzing everything around you do it with your own partners okay and do it in a big way. Let your mind tell you how to deal with issues and situations. Don't look outside for this help, but let your mind tell you. Because Mercury in the ninth house is all about communication, all right? So whatever is transpired, there is Mercury in the ninth house, and it's all about communication. And you um liberals have to communicate whatever is to inspire is all about communicate it's all about analytics uh, and it's all about communicating and these are in relationship the beauty which is philosophy and the laws that it involves and uh, do it with your partner however way um you're communicating with others do it with someone else that you can share also the information that is coming up okay all right, so let's see what is coming up. Father Elin is coming up for you, Libran. Your personal power increase as you give any father issues uh, um, to heaven. So whatever is coming up for you, Librans, is all about healing um, father issue, Eden, uh, issues that has to do with the masculine side of you. And this is going to be very wonderful and very powerful because you're going to be self-opening doors of opportunities after you have done healing the father issues so 
this is a time to release the issues if you have issues with your father your grandfather um, your partner um, heal the issues it's all about the masculine energies heal the issues and let it go and you're gonna be seeing and this is what I say to a lot of people you need to release these emotional issues and then you're you are going to be seen so orange creativity and change orange is really good um orange is always positive changes that is coming up okay it's all about creativity and with the creativity a lot of changes is going to be coming in your life your color is going to be orange you liberals it is going to be a powerful healing session because this is all about taking back your power this is about the personal energy archangel uriel um that is healing the um chakras so this is um really good and really positive and then we have i am the rest of the family i am with the rest of the family so there's a message that is coming out for some of you um whoever um there is um someone who has crossed over passed over they're letting you know that they are with the rest of the family so whoever has crossed over whatever that has been transpiring whoever has crossed over they're letting you know that they're with the rest of the family so if you had a question wondering what happened to someone who have passed over they're letting you know that they're with the rest of the family so this is wonderful and positive enjoy and I am saying namaste until next time, okay?